deadly police shooting in Grand Rapids, Michigan. There have been protests after 26-year-old Patrick Leoy was shot in the head during a traffic stop. The victim's family is speaking out. Alex Perez has the story. Good morning, Alex. Hey, good morning, George. Patrick Leoya's parents insist the officer did not have to use lethal force. They believe their son was executed. This morning, protesters taking to the streets for another day, demanding the firing of the Grand Rapids, Michigan police officer who shot and killed 26-year-old Patrick Leoya. His family speaking out for the first time, the Congolese immigrants through a translator expressing their grief and asking that the officer be prosecuted. As a terrorist, I was thinking maybe it was my son who was going to bury me, he will assist at my funeral. But what is so astonishing, I am the one burying my son. The incident recorded on officer body camera, dash cam, security cameras, and a bystander cell phone unfolding back on April 4th when police say Leoya was pulled over because the plates on his car were registered to a different vehicle. No, 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 stop, stop. Put your hands right. The situation quickly escalating when Leoya attempts to flee and the officer pursues. The officer deploys his taser, Leoya fighting and wrestling to get to the officer's taser. Okay. Stop! With Leoya down and facing the ground, the officer ends up on top of him, and as the struggle continues, the officer then draws his firearm and shoots Leoya in the head. Family attorney Ben Crump argues while Leoya was trying to escape, he never threatened the officer. It is a unjustifiable use of deadly force because the police escalated a traffic stop into an execution. And state police continue to investigate the shooting and the officer's use of force. They will hand over their findings to the prosecutor, who will then determine if charges will be filed. Michael? All right, thank you so much for that, Alex.